Hi! I am back again with another video for you and what I want to do today is something that I'm going to start doing hopefully every Friday and that is going to be called For Product Friday in Effect and I'm not sure if every Friday there's going to be that little fact stuck on the end but I know I've seen a lot of people on YouTube doing tags about get to know me and 25 facts and some have 50 facts and even more than that but I thought I would just include one fact a week on the end of my Friday video and that would be a nice way to sort of ease into knowing me and if you want to watch it you can watch it if you don't want to watch the fact you can just click off after I'm done telling you about uh, the other products for that week and then the first part of my Friday videos are going to be four products and that's going to be four products from my collection and it's either going to be you know different things every week lipsticks eyeshadows highlighters bronzers foundations any of that stuff I'm just gonna pick four for that week that I'm gonna talk a little more in depth on tell you whether I like them or not it's not just gonna be ones that I like it's gonna be ones that I even have problems with that I just outright hate and never use all of them. I'm just going to slowly start working through what I have to share. Now my set of four this week are four different lipsticks. So now the first one that I want to share with you today is the Dolce & Gabbana Passion Duo Gloss Fusion Lipsticks, which is quite a long name, but let's just look at it. I have it in the shade Darling, which is number 10. I bought mine at Sephora, and they're $35, I believe. And what this is, is a velvety smooth lipstick on the outside and a more satin gloss center. It does have a smell to it. It smells like roses, like most of Dolce & Gabbana's lip products. This one, varying shades have different amount of glitter to them. This one has very fine, what comes across on my lips as a slightly metallic finish. Other people have described it as this shade gives you a glow to your lips. Well, I consider that metallic when I look at it. The problems with this shade for me are that within about 20 minutes, especially if applied heavily, it can start to emphasize fine lines in my lips. It can start to build up in the center where my lips touch and turn more of a whitish shade, which is very unattractive. So it is a little high maintenance and that you always have to kind of be checking it if you're going to wear it on its own. On me, it can come across a little streaky when you apply it. I certainly can't get away with applying it heavily. I have to sort of dab it on very lightly. <laughs> Lighter application for me is certainly key. I also don't wear it on its own. I always apply a gloss over top of it to try to maintain it for longer, but it does have very long lasting power on your lips. You just have to be okay with the fact that this shade in particular can definitely emphasize any problem areas you have. So if you're like me, you live in cold winters, you have chapped lips or sometimes peeling lips, this shade will not be attractive. <laughs> you have to definitely have smooth, flawless lips to be able to carry this shade off without having some not so attractive parts to it. The glow that you get from this is very nice. It's a sheer peachy pink definitely a staple color for a lot of people and if you can see the core is really where you get most of your moisture from that is the satin gloss center that they talk about do I find it to be very moisturizing no it is still a lot like a traditional lipstick in that it feels not as moisturizing as like a Chanel the next lip product that I have to talk to you about is by Erin Beauty, and this is in the shade number 03, which is Tulip. It is from the Spring Collection, but it's still currently available. I just checked online, and I know definitely Neiman Marcus, at least, still has it available. And the collection for Spring was called the Garden Collection, so all of the lipsticks, at least, and I believe all the other products, had a garden-themed name, so of course, Tulip. The name of this one inspired by flowers it does have a rose scent to it 
like a lot of lip products. If you can see from these swatches, it is a little more pink, less peach. It still is fairly reflective, not as what I would call metallic as the Dolce & Gabbana comes across as. It feels a lot smoother on the lips. I just put it on right now. It feels a lot more moisturizing than the Dolce & Gabbana one. And I know that is my main problem with the Dolce & Gabbana in the color Darling is that they say it's very moisturizing, but I don't find it to be as moisturizing as a lot of my other products. I cannot wear it alone without it just becoming a disaster and uncomfortable feeling on the lips. This is a different story. I do find that over time it does settle, start to look not as attractive, but it's a lot more comfortable on the lips. And if you're looking for a springy sort of a pink that's very reflective, I would recommend this one. It's fairly pigmented, not as opaque as a traditional full-on lipstick, but they're not meant to be like this. They're meant to be more moisturizing, a little more sheer, but still fairly pigmented. I just applied the next lip product to my lips, and that is a Bobbi Brown lipstick. Now, Bobbi Brown has several different categories of lipsticks, and this is a rich lip color, and it is in the color number nine, Bare Pink. This is a beigey pink, and this one I don't have any problems with applying. It doesn't settle into fine lines. It really lasts a long time. Feels fairly moisturizing, although I do apply a lip balm usually first thing in the morning before I put this on. Now, this lipstick they call a full coverage without heavy feeling lip product. It is moisturizing, and it, as we are moving through my four products, we are getting into the more traditional lipsticks, and they certainly feel that way on the lips. This one isn't as heavy as my last product I have to show you, but it is a thicker formula. This is a full coverage lipstick, and they say without a heavy feeling. Now, it is more heavy than a lot of other lipsticks these days since they're coming out with the more and more moisturizing formulas, but I would say it isn't uncomfortable on the lips. Okay, I just applied the last of the four products on my lips right now, and it is a Burberry Lip Cover Soft Satin Lipstick. It is in the number 11 Antique Rose, and it's beautiful. <laughs> Now, this is the most traditional of the four products I have to show you today in texture-wise. It feels slightly heavier on the lips, certainly if you glide it on. But what I like to do a lot of times is apply it with my finger and push it onto the lips and it gives you a really second skin kind of a quality. The formula of this, very hydrating, very long-lasting. This color is like a my lips kind of a color, slightly darker, so a lot of times wearing formal events and stuff like that, a little more professional looking to have the slightly darkened lip but not terribly bold of a red type of a lip. This color just grows great with everything. It supposedly has anti-aging ceramides which helps for fuller lips. It has a gelled structure formula, which helps the pigment stay true to color. It's just got a lot of stuff going on in it, and the packaging is amazing. If you've ever held or touched a Burberry packaging, then you know it's big, bulky, but very beautiful. The only problem that I have with Burberry packaging is that if you let it sort of crash around, you get problems like this, and hopefully it's showing up. Like, this is a normal side. But it can definitely scratch and lose pieces of its covering, and it sort of flakes off and becomes a brighter metal underneath, and yeah, it looks a little bit ratty if you let it get well-loved, like I unfortunately have. But if you actually take care of your lipsticks, then you won't have a problem with that, but <laughs> just be aware that if you throw it in your purse, it can get dinged up and not as attractive. Now, if you throw something like the Bobbi Brown in your purse with its plastic, it is not gonna have a care in the world, but this is a little more sensitive, and let me swatch it. And you can see this is the darkest color that I have to show you today. 
and a thicker formula, but of course that means that it will be longer lasting than the other lipsticks that I Okay, have. so those were my four products that I have to show you today. Hopefully you like this little series that I'm gonna start doing on every Friday. And now I'm gonna share a fact about me with you. Oh, but I have a special guest to bring on to help me share my fact. So hold on, I will be right back. This is my fact. I have a little hedgehog. His name is Charlie. I've had him for three years now. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. It always makes my day. If you like this video, stay tuned for more. Every Friday, hopefully, I will be having my four product Friday and a fun fact. See you later. Bye.